Hello, this is Sharif Abouzaid, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a contact form inside your WordPress website and also how you can save the entries of this contact form into a database. So, when people complete a contact form like the one you see right now in the screen, all of their information or entries will be added to the back end of your WordPress database, and also you can view them as a normal entries inside your WordPress dashboard. So, you don't have to go back to the MySQL database to uh, view them but you can view them as normal entries in the back end or the dashboard of your WordPress website. All of this will be done by using a free plugin inside WordPress. But before I show you how you can do this, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I am in the middle of a 100 days to create videos for YouTube every single day. So I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. So let me show you how you can do this. To do this, you need to install a plugin called Fluent Form, which is again a free plugin. To install it, you simply go to plugins and click add new and you search for Fluent Forms. And this is the plugin that we are looking for. It is a simple install and activation process for any plugin. You just click install now and activate the plugin. So once you do this, you will have a, um, a new entry in the right side or the left side of your WordPress menus called Fluent Forms. And here, if you go to forms, you'll find all of the forms that you have already created. So for example, these are demo forms that I have created before I start recording this video. So to create a new form, you simply click add new form. And here you will have three options, either to create a new blank form or choose a template or uh, create a conversational form, which is another type of forms that you can use or you can create for free using the Fluent Forms plugin. So let's me um, just start from uh, blank. So I click uh, a new blank form here. And this is the canvas of Fluent Forms. So let's start by changing the name of the form because it was it always confused me how you can change the name of the form inside Fluent Forms. You can do this by just going here to the um, fake name and click the pencil icon. And let's call this contact form. And let's click rename. So now to add all the fields of your contact uh, uh, form, you simply drag and drop them here. So let's drag the name field here. If you like to add a name, you just drag the name here. If you like to add a, um, a message field, you just drag the text area field here. As you can see, there are multiple uh, um, uh, entries that you can use to add your contact form, which enables you to, uh, to create more complex uh, forms, not only the one that you have shown you before. So um, this, let's start by using this uh, or choosing or completing this simple contact form. So uh, for example, if you like to uh, maybe remove the last name, you just click or choose the uh, uh, name field and you uncheck the last name here. And if you like to have the first name and the email address in one column, there's a great option called under the input fields, not the input fields. Yes, the input fields is called the container field. And here you can choose how you can, how you would like to design the contact form. For the contact form. So for example, if I like to add the first name and the email in one column, I just drag the two column container here. And then we drag the name field to be here in the left and we drag the email to be to the right. And if you like to increase the name, uh, the email space, you just make it like here. And you know what, let's add some, um, maybe a choice of a service. So to choose, a, to add a choice of the service that the customers are looking for, you maybe you can choose, let's choose the, um, the drop down list. Yes, let's choose this one. And also let's add the address field. So this is the address field. If you like to minimize the entries of the address field, you just, again, you can uncheck some information here. And let's choose just the city and the maybe, no, no, also the zip code and the state. So this is the information that we need people to complete. Now our contact information is ready to be used. So, um, but of course, let's add the services here. To add a service, let's change the title to be like service type. And here, let's choose this like service one and service two. And then, and change this text area text to be like passage. And for the submit button, of course, you can have like more, uh, you can add more customization, maybe like uh, change this to be like send a message or submit form and just leave it like this. If you like to make it like larger, you again, you just click larger here. And if you like to center it, you just click center here. So let's save the form. Now the form is ready to be used inside your WordPress website. So let me show you how you can add this form inside any page of your WordPress websites. So let me click um, pages and choose add new to create a new page. And let's give this page a title. 
and now to add the contact form to any place of your WordPress website, whether, and this happens if you are using Elementor, um, and if you're using Gutenberg, you click the plus button and you go down here to find the fluent form, um, the fluent form block. Oh, you know what? Let's just search for it here. Fluent form and you drag the form here. And this is the form. You can choose, let's choose here. This Here you can choose which form you'd like to add. Let's choose the contact form demo here. And let's click publish. And let's view the page. And this is the form. As you can see, it's not, it doesn't look uh, beautiful. So maybe you need to style it to style it. I'll be using the cadence blocks, which is another free plugin to style all of the pages. So to um, use the cadence blocks, again, I click the plus button here. And this is the uh, cadence blocks. I will just drag a row layout. So this is the um, layout. And I will just choose one column layout. And I will drag the contact form inside this row. And let's change the uh, width of the uh, row itself. So let's make this like um, maybe 900, I think. And let's click update and let's you know refresh the page again and this is the page maybe you need to add like contact us title here to add a title you just click the fluent form and you click the insert before and here let's click this plus button which give you access to the same items in the left part and let's search for heading and this is the heading i think okay so let's say contact us and let's centralize this and make it like each one if you like to change to choose to increase the font size you click here so let's click update and let's refresh the page so now we have like a decent contact us page of course you can add more styling to this page by using maybe elementor or something like this so this is the contact us page let's add some let's add some information here so let's add the first name and email and also select the service type here and let's add a fake message and submit form. And now the form entry has been added. So let me just click refresh again and add another information so we can have more view of the entries. So let's add another information here. And let's make this um, service two and add the message here and let's submit the form. Now, now we have added two entries to the form to view the form itself, to, to view the form entries itself inside your database. You go to all forms and let's click refresh here to view the form. So this is the form we like to have its uh, entries. Um, so let's hover over here and choose entries and let's open it in a new tab. And these are the two entries we have already added inside our contact form. So let me show you what you can do in this overview of your all of your entries. So if you like to, you know, reorder the columns, you just click here. And you can choose which columns do you like to view. For example, I don't like to have an idea an idea about the address, so I just uh, remove this, so I don't see the address in the overview, and I don't like to see the message itself. Maybe I like to see only the uh, service type, so I just click here. So now I don't see I see only the information that I like to see. And also, if you like to you know to um, reorder the columns, maybe you like to know what type of service uh, the people like to see first. You click the order forum order column here and you change or maybe like remove or um, change the um, the position of the service type entry here to be and click save so now you can see the save service type at the start of the column so if you like to see uh, first if you like to filter them you can just click here filter if you like to see only the entries of today you can just click uh, choose today if you like to have like a to view the entries of certain date you can just click here and choose uh, at what time, uh, at what period, which period that you want to add or review their uh, its entries. So this is the overview of all of your entries. Let me choose all here. So now if you like to view one of these entries, you click the view, by, uh, view icon here. And here you can have a deeper look at all the entries uh, or all the information of this contact um, form entry. Here you'll find everything, the name, the email, the address, the message. And also you will have some more information, maybe their IP address, if you or don't, you need to make sure that you comply with your local laws about viewing the IP address. The user have completed this form, maybe you are using the contact form inside one of your membership websites. Here you will have the username and also the date. Here you can also add, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can add notes here. So maybe you need to like um, contact them, uh, contact this uh, person. 
And also, you know what? There is another beautiful feature here, which is like um, mark as favorite. For example, I use this the same contact form plugin to um, create a, uh, a job listing or a job application form for one of my businesses. And I wanted to shortlist all the people that who has or who have completed the form. So if I like someone, I like I feel like they are qualified. I will just add their I shortlist them by choosing the favorite button. And also you can you know change the status to be like trash. You can just trash them if you like to make it unread. So because if you go to all of you all here, you can um, you will find this status as read. So if you like to make it unread, you can make it unread from the inner or deeper look of your word your um, entry again if you like to um, maybe you like to view all of the unread entries you can sort this entries here by the status unread red or favorite even a favorite so this is now the favorite entries uh, only so this is how easily you can create a contact form inside your wordpress website and also save save the entries of this contact form inside a database so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to our channel because I am in the middle of a challenge to create 100 videos every single day for the next coming 100 days. So I will appreciate it greatly if you subscribe to our channel to support me in this challenge. So thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye for now.